You know, I think sometimes when I get asked occasionally, like, what is the one thing in the case that, that was, was for you the, the, the most obvious determiner that this defendant is the suspect in this case? I get asked all the time, what was the thing that was the deal killer? The thing that really led you to believe this guy's guilty? And a lot of my cold cases work this way. They're, they're cumulative. It's, it's, you know, it's not, not one thing that tips the scale. It's the cumulative nature of all the diverse pieces of evidence. And one of the things I thought was most compelling about the case for theism was not just that there was one thing. If there was one thing, I mean, I'd probably divide it. Is it, is it information we see in the genetic code? That's really hard to explain by staying inside the room. Um, there's all kinds of different little things you could look and point to. But what's really fascinating to me is the fact is the cumulative nature of the case that we have eight pieces of evidence in four broad divergent categories it's not all cosmological evidence from the universe it's not all biological evidence from the nature of dna or origin of life it's not all uh, mental evidence from from um, say consciousness or free agency and it's not all moral evidence it's all four of these and they're very different you come to the facts on the cosmological evidence differently than you come to the facts on biology different than you come to the facts on consciousness or you come to the facts on on moral truths. These are very different forms of evidence. And when you see in a case, say for example, if I thought somebody was a suspect in the case and I got eyewitnesses who said something about, yep, I saw him do this. I've also got DNA at the scene that belongs to him. I've also got certain behaviors that I, he uh, did before and after the murder that seems suspicious. And finally, he makes some statement that gives him away. Four different categories of evidence, all pointing to the same conclusion. When you see that, you can have great confidence you've arrived at the right location. Same thing here. You've got four different categories of evidence in the universe that all point to the same conclusion. And that, that conclusion is very well defined based on the kinds of evidence. So you can always tell something about your suspect from the kinds of evidence you have. I think that was what's so powerful. It was the robust, and that's always the case for me working these cold cases. What's always compelling, and I'm always the last guy in. I'm the most skeptical guy in all my cases. I don't get sold on one piece because I, you know, you can be wrong. I wait and see what the whole cumulative case looks like, and then if I'm in, I'm in. And if I'm not, I'm not. But it's the rich body of evidences that always convinces me. And that's what I think is so compelling about the evidence in the universe.